are so smooth. 1,600 metres, they let loose. Eventador, one of the back markers early on. Track commander just gets a niggle or two to keep that inside rail. A line of four. Senor Garcia looms large with the white cheek pieces and so smooth second into the first turn. Intrepid act on the right hand side. The blue cap is settled in third. Track commander. Oh my word, it's Roy. A little bit strong on the outside. Has the shadow roll in fifth. Coromandel's in no man's land, the first 400 metres, now looking to get a little bit closer to Maximus, and Eventador's dropped out of it. Senor Garcia doing the buying and the bidding by a length and a tail. At the rails so smooth, kept company by Intrepid Act. There's only a short head separating them, marching past the 800. Oh my word, it's Roy is in fourth. Yellow Silks of Track Commander and Cabela Matsunyani looking for another three to make up. Maximus bides his time. Coromandel's going to look to go around and Eventador's dropped anchor. Homeward bound, 400 metres to go. Senor Garcia enjoys a length lead. So smooth goes to the inside. Intrepid act on the outside. Track commander's looking for the way through and Maximus is going for a rails run. Senor Garcia, the one to get to at the 200. So that's two lengths to spare. On the outside, track commander, Eventador. Senor Garcia, the last 100. Track commander's coming home late on. Track commander's going to get up. Track commander on the knob. Senor Garcia Eventador and then came Maximus. Sean Terry makes the trip to KwaZulu Natal worthwhile. So, track commander Sean Terry on course. Saw him in front of the grandstand when they went down to the start. And track commander, well, ended up favourite 360. Senor Garcia stole a march on them, but Cabello Matsunyani said, let's go, and Track Commander hunted them down. Senor Garcia, Eventador. Senor Garcia was still travelling well enough coming to the 200. Track Commander was just in a pocket and then just came out. Senor Garcia still had about a length and three quarters to spare at that stage. And now Track Commander, they give me the green light for the Sean Terry Racing Limited. The Colin Stud Farm gets to Senor Garcia's quarters and the last 50 metres he just gets up and he nails them on the post. Let's just look at Senor Garcia. Just seems to take an awkward stride. He just jumps that winning post there. And Track Commander has his measure. Back to the studio. Track Commander has won the uh, sixth race on the card under a masterful ride again from uh, Cabello Mazzagnani. He's had the genuine hat trick three races in a row. Well done to Cabello. We look forward to talking to him again just now. This is owned by Sean Terry Racing, and it's wonderful to have Sean Terry on course with uh, uh, two of his kids, who we'll talk to, uh, more to in a moment. But uh, John is with me. He gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done, John. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done, Cabello, and well done, Mr. Terry. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. John, a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Let's talk to you, Sean, and the kids while we wait for Cabello. Uh, Matsunyani, who's having a wonderful day. And uh, although he's taken a bit of time to win again, he's always earned for the connections along the way, and he's won a good race today. Yes, I think you could actually have confidence in him on the poly if you've been watching his runs. He's been quite unlucky. He travelled too hard last time, didn't get to 18, but he's... Other runs on the poly have been actually eye-catching and uh, I've had good offers for the source from PE and elected just to hang in a little longer and it certainly paid off. But I think it's also a case of informed jockey at the moment. Uh, Cabello's riding at the top of his game and uh, he's a, a guy that's ridden the source for quite some time and, and I'm glad that he's had the opportunity to ride him here in, in Durban. Now, the last time we chatted and you were in KZN, you had your two sons with you. Now you've brought along your daughter to, to meet us all in KZN Natal, and that's a treat. Well, that's what happens when you've got three kids in three different schools, and uh, <laughs> Daniel's back at, at school, and Sienna and Jason are here to keep me company for a week, and it's a privilege to have them here. Lovely. All the best for the rest of the day. Your day started late for you in, in racing, but uh, let's hope we can chat again just now. Thank you. Lovely, Sean Terry and his kids are here, and so is Cabela Matsanyani. A jockey is certainly in good form, and uh, well done, Cabela. Tell us about the race because uh, you mastered your ride beautifully. Get up on the line where it mattered most. Yes, you know, with this horse, um, 
I've tried all my best to, to get a win out of him and I'm glad today was a day and, you know, with the perfect draw, comfortable way to the tailwind again, um, it helped a lot. Um, had to just uh, get out the gates and keep my position, ride him confident and get up where it's uh, most important. Congratulations. Now you've weighed three in a row. You got one more for Mr. Terry. Could it be four in a row? Well, I hope so. I mean, the day has been good. Um, why not carry on the momentum? And, you know, once again, to Mr. Terry, um, he's always been supporting me and uh, big thanks to him. Um, he owns the horse also. Um, so uh, big thanks to all the team, even the team he has here in Durban with the horses. John, um, he plays a big role in the stable. Um, he's like the main man in the stable and, you know, he's, he's done the job every time. And big thanks to him and obviously again to my sponsors Uniform, big thanks to them. Well done, Cabello. Congratulations. You've only had four carded rides today, three times in the winner's enclosure. Well done. Thank you very much. Um, looking forward to the day with the last race and we'll see what we can do. Excellent. That's it, Cabello Matsignani. Yeah, as Graham uh, reminded me, he only had four rides today, the young Cabello, and uh, three of them uh, in the winner's enclosure. Well, he, he's made it clear to us that he wants to travel and he wants to get rides and he wants to get going. If you haven't seen or, or picked up Cabello Matsignani's riding ability just yet, open up and have a look at your TV screens.